are officially gonna be filming our night routine. I feel like night times have quickly become some of my favorite with Story Bell. Every night looks a little bit different, so this is just like our night routine of tonight because every night is seriously different. We're going on a trip, so we're gonna be packing and also getting her to bed. We're also gonna go pick up some more breast milk from a donor. It's just gonna be a fun little night, so join us on our nighttime routine. I feel like this is a very realistic nighttime routine. You know, I thought about cleaning up before this, but I was like, we're just gonna do the full realistic nighttime routine. I have my milk bags to go pick up my donor breast milk. Let's go get some breast milk. All right, listen up, Story. We gotta go for a little car ride. We gotta go get your food. There's some really nice ladies out there that give their milk for you, because your mama can't. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could. I said this earlier, but we're very grateful for the ladies that donate the breast milk. It's extremely nice to them. And Story's stomach does a lot better on breast milk. We've, we've done formula before and it's okay. It works, but she definitely enjoys the breast milk a lot more. Shout out to those ladies out there. It is very nice of you. Got the good stuff. Not only did we get Story's food, we got our food as well. We got to eat too. Let's talk about the expectations of the night and how this normally goes because- Wait, hold on though. Let me say something. Couple things. Bell and I kind of like hesitated to video this because it could be a boring night tonight, right? It could. So if this video is boring, I'm sorry. Like as much as I love you guys, this is kind of hard. Like us to look back on anyway. I love watching these videos back. And I think it's funny that we've both assigned little roles for each other without even like saying it. Dallin has become the designated bottle maker. In the middle of the night, when she needs a bottle, he's the one that will make it. I've become the designated diaper changer and baby swaddler. You're better at those two things. Her bassinet is on my side. And so I take her out of the bassinet, unswaddle her, change her diaper. He feeds her, brings her back to me. I change her diaper, swaddle her, put her back. Yup. That's like the night exactly routine. Exactly how it goes. Isn't, Isn't that, that right? right, Missy? Isn't that right, sweetie girl? Yep. At 1 a.m., you let me know. <laughs> She's laughing. <laughs> She's smiling. <laughs> At 1 a.m., you let me know that you need a bottle. And if I don't get it with, to you within three minutes, you let me know even louder. Yep, they're gonna see how this all goes tonight. Hi, baby girl. You ready for bed tonight? I'm putting her to bed. <laughs> One. We literally always do this. You have to do a rock, paper, scissors of who gets to put her to bed. You ready? Rock, rock paper, scissors, scissors, shoot. Rock, rock paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> no, I've had terrible luck. I've had such bad luck. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yeah. Oh, no, store. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes! Yes! Give her a Give her a Before we put her down, we really try and give her a good bottle. The more she eats before bed, the better she sleeps. And so Bella's in there giving her a bottle right now and hopefully she can start eating more and more and be able to sleep through the night, which I think is actually gonna happen here pretty soon because last night she only woke up one time and it was only for 10 minutes and she pretty much put herself back to sleep. Fingers crossed that she's gonna start sleeping through the night. Okay, I'm giving her her bottle and then I'm gonna swaddle her and then she lays in the bassinet next to my side of the bed. Like I said, we're keeping it very real. My nightstand has dirty diapers on it and lots of dirty bottles. Every night I try to like go through, clean up all the old diapers, get all the old bottles, wash them, get them all prepped and ready and sterilized for the night. We're a little bit behind tonight because we are traveling tomorrow. I'm gonna get everything ready for her. She's eating her bottle. Let's turn off the lights, get everything peaceful so she can sleep good. I got some time to feed her. We split it. I fed her half the bottle, now Dallin's feeding out the other half. We compromised tonight. That's a win for me. You gotta swaddle her though. That was a way better swaddle yeah. than I am. I'll swaddle her, but let me know when she's ready. I'm gonna keep packing. I have all my stuff over here that's getting packed up for our trip. I'm just trying to make sure that I have all of her stuff. I put her stuff in packing cubes so I can keep it more organized. I still have a lot of stuff to pack up, if you couldn't tell. She's asleep. She crashed out of my arms. Just love this. I really gotta go put layer down though and I gotta start packing because I have a lot to do tonight. I'm going around collecting all the bottles for the day. This is so random. In our closet, I don't even know how this ended up. There's a bottle in our closet. <laughs> Notice I spilled a lot of toothpaste on my shirt, but that's what happens when you brush your teeth in the dark. It's like really dark in our room because Story is asleep. So that's great. I just grabbed some diapers for the night to put by my bed and I am going to bed. I am so tired. It's 
10, 20. I don't know what it is. Parent life just has me exhausted. I was just thinking while I was brushing my teeth that these are literally the days that we desperately prayed for. And I just feel so grateful every day and every night. It's just such a crazy, surreal feeling still. We've obviously like been parents for a, a, a minute now. I just still feel that feeling every day of just, this is so surreal. I can't believe this is my baby. Like I love her so much and it's just overwhelming. I feel like very grateful tonight and I'm going to go get cozy and snuggled up in my bed. I'm so tired. So excited to go to bed. Oh, she just woke up for the first time. Oh, I'm tired. It's three o'clock in the morning though, which is pretty good. She went to bed at eight, woke up at three. I'll take that first time up. I got her bra right now. I was gonna be in there changing her and then uh, she'll go right back to sleep. really great she only woke up one time that was like one of her longest stretches ever and so I'm really proud of her she's so sweet I just went to the gym and now I'm gonna go check on Story Bell and Talon see how they're doing I normally try and just like do one thing for myself every day and that's going to the gym but I've been going so early so I could get back and see her okay let's check on them how's it going over here last night was good yeah she did good last night she slept from eight to three and three to seven she's so clock. sweet she just woke up she the stretching eating. she's stretching Thanks, come here, I wanna say hi to you, come here. How'd you sleep, buddy? You slept so good. You slept so good, you're my boy. I'll just never get over this view. You guys are the cutest. <laughs> 